of how far I've come in the middle of all my trolling. Okay, yes, I troll. Whatever. Troll land has entered the chat. Trolling is fucking fun, okay? Like, I am obsessed with being the troll queen. Like, literal troll in entered the chat. But in the- Wow. Hey, what up you guys? It is voiceover Sassy Assassin here back with another episode of Illusion and Delusion, aka Amberlynn Reed. So in today's episode, I'm going to be reacting to something bad happened slash I'm scared, not clickbait. So today has been a good day. I went to the gym and I did my bariatric blood panel which took quite a while because they had to stick me a couple times and there was a lot of tubes of blood that i had to have done i stupidly though did not eat for quite a long time before the the blood panel so i like felt really dizzy afterwards they had to give me a juice and a cookie I'm an idiot. I know. Like, I should have eaten or at least had the protein shake that was in the car before going in there. But no. No, I thought, oh, I'll be fine. It's not, I'll be that big of a deal. Only be just a couple tubes. No, not just a couple tubes. A lot of tubes. So, um, that's just one step of many steps that I have to do to be authorized for the weight loss surgery. So... Yeah, it's been a very eventful day, and uh, I was hoping there would be no, like, Amberlynn Reed video today, but then this video popped up. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do this before dinner, so here we go. As for Amberlynn's last video, she clickbaited her supposedly traumatizing ER experience, which, to be honest... Uh, in the grand scheme of thing is not very traumatizing like look i get it though i mean you you an an iv like this pulled out of you and a whole bunch of blood comes out okay yeah that's scary in the moment but it's like not like this overly traumatizing thing you know shit like that happens all the time amber just just over traumatize it for the sake of clicks and views and now she is once again clickbaiting another bad experience for clicks and views because she is so desperate to, for our approval, for our, you know, because she has been, you know, she was acting like a biatch for quite a while. And now she is pandering to her audience once again. This is seriously pathetic and this whole downward spiral is something that I think we all expected. I mean, for the past couple of videos, she hasn't been doing well. She hasn't been losing weight. She doesn't seem to be eating right. And now she has this supposed back strain from the, the, the ankle. And, then, and now something else is bad has happened. Is this the bad thing that she was clickbaiting before? Like, I'm, I have something bad has happened, but I'm not going to tell you guys about it. Like, who knows? Who knows? Like, I am so over this. Like, first it was Lecture Lynn. Now it's pandering to the audience for because she realized that oh I'm getting all this clapback from from the audience I better pander I better you know uh with my little sob stories you know I I I I'm just sick of it I really am but anyways let's get to it's on 0 0.5 is it 0 0.5 1.5 so here we go okay so I have a grocery haul Another see, grocery haul! Didn't she just have a massive grocery haul in the last, or not the last video, but the video before that? Like, Jesus! Girl, how many groceries do you need to fucking buy? There's two people in the house. Two! Is there? But I laid everything out to make it easier. So, first thing I got is this veggie dicer. I hate cutting onion. I just don't like the way that makes your hands smell. Duh, wash your hands, but I just don't like it, okay? So, I got some of these light tuna and water packets. I got some PB Do. PB Do. PB. <laughs> okay. I got some PB2 powder, which is just peanut butter. 
for so much more, less fat, less calories, etc. And then I got a thing of brown rice. We got some Greek yogurt. It's the Greek gods, honey, vanilla. Huge thing of chicken. I need to go through. She needs to honestly be buying like low fat yogurt. If she wants to go for weight loss surgery. She really needs to consider buying low fat yogurt because she needs to heal her liver. Through and separate these pieces and individually uh, freeze them instead of just I mean, Greek thing. yogurt's okay. It's just, you know, Together, I don't know. So much easier. And then I got three bags of this frozen mango banana strawberry blend. Mm, One, I two, love those. Three. And then I got three bags of the triple berry medley. One, two, three. Mm, I love I got it. A white onion. The triple berry so. medley, like seriously, top that up with some yogurt with some agave on top. Oh. Mm. Fresh cauliflower, a watermelon moment. I mean, it's we healthy, some, relatively healthy stuff, so I'm not carrots, hating on it. Two avocados, a squash, zucchini, celery, two bags of spinach, and a bag of collard greens. So this is my grocery haul. Now I have to put it all away. For these things, does anyone else have an exceptionally large amount? <laughs> Literally just shove them in there. Okay, so my animals have a lot of toys, but I think it's time I go through them. Sometimes you can do this. They get torn or they're old, you know, and they don't really honestly need this money. I only have three pets and it's just a lot. So I'm going to go through them right now. Here's your toys. All right. So I just keep it in this cute little bin. What's up, boys? Hi, baby boy. This is such riveting content, you guys. Of course, she's, she's going to start off with this bullshit and then probably wait till the end of the video to talk about something bad that has happened. This is fucking clickbait. So far. Hi. Hi. You're so sweet. Yeah. All right. So the ones I'm keeping, I am going to show you guys. This is so little, riveting, you so guys. Soft. This is a cute little top frog tier. On a lily pad. Ready? Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? She just tried to get in it. Oh my god. This Duh, one. Because cats love to get in stuff like that. Open because I forgot all about it. So it's buried. But I am gonna keep it because Twinkie does like these like really small toys. So definitely keeping those. And Rarity likes them as well. This little pride. Unicorn. Aww, the unicorn's right there that I actually got from my aunt. This cupcake that says puppy love. This little small green pea that came in like a peas in a pod type of deal. So I'm definitely keeping the eggs from inside of this, but I'm gonna get rid of this part. So keeping these. Look at this one. She got a toy. <laughs> Why not just keep it in its case? Play. This is a container because I'm actually getting out my uh Halloween stuff. Are you playing? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get it. No, it's Twinkie. I'm gonna get it. What are you gonna do about it? Another little pea I'm gonna keep. This is a ravioli. <laughs> So cute. Keeping. And then I'm also going to keep this doodad. Hi, oh, Riddle. Because she likes to play with this. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. My cat loves oh, those, too. Alrighty. That looks so much better. Hi, oh, baby boy. So much better. It's time to get out my Halloween stuff. I have a few things. A few little cutesy things. Halloween decorations. Not bad. Not my favorite thing in the world, but I do have some things that I do That's like. That's nice. I, I like that. Like I like that. Soon. So I have this Witch's Brew Poison Apple book. Speaking of Halloween... Have any of y'all watched the new Hocus Pocus? Because I wasn't so keen on it. I'm sorry, but the original is a lot better. I, I don't know. I just... Hmm. Just wasn't so keen. It was cute, but like not like... doesn't have the same vibe as the, the original. You know what I mean? Like... It just... I know they're trying to like... Cater to the the younger generation whatever but it's just like uh, i don't know just mm. unicorn skeleton love me some fake pumpkins this one's super cute it's actually like fake leather is what it feels like same with this fella we have a little mini version and we have this guy why do we roses, need to see this a carriage moment a gate moment we also have this link. this is her life this is this is oh seriously th this is what she gets paid for it just <laughs> Amber, we don't care about this shit. Like, seriously. Pumpkin. These skeletons, a bejeweled pumpkin, pearly glass pumpkin, another glass pumpkin. Why don't we this why is. do something it's different for a change? I seriously. Some more books, cures, potions, poisons. This is so, so oh my, annoying. Okay, good, okay. What the hell? Oh my god, I can't breathe. <laughs> okay, so I just got out of the doctor. I'm supposed to have my doctor's appointment tomorrow, but it became like kind of an emergency moment. I think I was able to see my doctor today. I'm gonna have to explain everything. It's confusing, it's weird. I will say though, it feels so good outside. Like it makes me wanna go to a park. Okay, so I'm now home and I've been crying since the last clip. I got in the car, started crying, and then got home, started crying. I have other personal things going on in my life right now besides 
this and I know like people have been saying they seem so unhappy and stuff it's just I'm just there's a lot of things that I'm not sharing and I don't know if I want to and I know it's here we go again here we go again she acts for it like a bitch for a month and a half and then I'm going through something oh my life is horrible I, I swear to god you guys I swear to god this cycle I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be empathetic, but it's just like, I'm so over it. <laughs> I understand if she doesn't want to, if there's certain things she doesn't want to share, you know, she's not, enti we're not entitled to every aspect of her life, but you know, it's just like, don't even talk about it if you're not ready to share it. Don't be like, oh, something's going on, but I don't really want to talk about it. Because you know people are going to want to know. They're going to talk about it in the comments. But this is the game. This is the game, right? That she plays. Speculation. Speculation. I can't even talk. Speculation. But regarding this medical thing, like, speculation. What was you saying? I'm just, there's a lot of things that I'm not sharing. And I don't know if I want to. And I know speculation. Speculation. I can't even talk. Speculation. But regarding this medical thing like so i do keep a lot of things from you guys and i know i said i'm not gonna talk about my fucking ankle anymore and that was my goal and but it was a big part of my life and i kept just like saying blah 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 ankle like i i never went into detail after i said i'm not gonna talk about it anymore um i'm sorry i look like my makeup looked pretty decent today and <laughs> crying has made it who cares so, like, with the makeup the reason why it's bugging me is because i can see myself in the viewfinder and that's yeah who I'm cares sorry, about my parents. people hate when i do that okay so there are a lot of things that i don't talk about with you guys um, out of fear, out of per uh, personal, like, stuff like that. And during my whole ankle debacle, um, all of a sudden, literally out of nowhere, I was having tremendous shoulder pain to the point of I couldn't move my arm. Um, it was very scary. Um, it radiated to my neck. And I was feeling it in my back, especially when I would breathe in. This was a couple weeks ago. Um, I have had a EKG and no heart attack, no heart problems, none of that. So we don't have to worry about that. I just wanted to make that very clear um, before I kept going because I know that sounds very like, okay, heart attack symptoms, um, but it has nothing to do with that. So I was struggling with that for a little bit and I thought it was because of how I was getting onto the bed because of my ankle because you don't even realize how much you use certain parts of your body to do certain things until you no longer can use. Said but then, wait a minute, you thought, so you just spit, so wait a minute. Didn't, okay, so did the doctor in the last video specify that this was a back strain? Because now you're saying that, uh, that I thought it was this, which you're alluding to a back strain. So you lied then. Part of your body or it hurts really bad to use said part of the body. And to get on the bed, I used my foot, my ankle, but I no longer could, could do that. And I am very big i am super morbidly obese so already you know you have to use a lot of strength and muscle um when doing anything really so getting on the bed was really hard because a i had to change how i was doing it blah blah, blah. so i thought that i had pulled a muscle or something like that um i wasn't experiencing any other symptoms until a couple days ago so i want to say that the pain did go away and that was after i was taking ibuprofen i was going back and forth between heating it with a heating pad and icing it with like a little ice pack so I was like, okay, so it was just like a pulled muscle, strained muscle situation type deal. But then it came back a couple days ago and I haven't had to get on the bed in any weird way because my ankle is healing. It is almost healed. I'm so glad. I, I do notice that it's healed in a very peculiar, peculiar, peculiar uh, words. It has healed in a very interesting way. I feel like it's a little bit more, my foot's a little bit more like this instead of like this. It's a little more like this. And actually that happens to a lot of people who um, heal from torn ligaments. And I had no idea, but I've been watching a lot of people's like experiences on YouTube with torn lig ligaments, especially in the beginning of when this happened. Oh Hi, baby God. Cat, dis dat cla cat deflection. God, you know, I'm, you know what? It's just like, it, it's a glorified sprained ankle, Amber. And you know what? If it was so bad, then you should have had physical therapy. I don't understand why that was not something the doctor um, referred you for. Or unless they did, and you just chose not to do it. So, um, that is like normal, whatever. So yeah, Because physical therapy would require her to be physical. We're doing pretty good um, along those lines. I was very worried because the pain was so bad that I was forever going to have ankle problems. I was so scared that it was going to be like a bed bound situation like 2018 where I was just like months and months and months on end just in bed. And it's not quite like that. 
so a few days ago i started having the pain again it started just a little bit in my shoulder but nowhere near nowhere near as bad as it was and then like when i breathe in my like where your lung is bro like in your back it is this sharp pain and not only do i feel that but it feels like my lung is like thumping once i reach especially once i reach that like like right there oh because i did like a deep breath whatever so obviously those things are not normal especially now i have like a little tiny bit of a cough it's not like 24 7 it's, you know no mucus is coming out it's very like dry and there is a little bit of a cough and it's mainly when i get up walk or something um and i have shortness of breath so those things are scary for anybody so i went to the er ekg normal blood work normal x-ray normal so the only reason why i went to the er is because i called my doctor's office i love my doctor absolutely amazing phenomenal um, okay just get ever had, on with honestly. it so um, I wanted to see my doctor, obviously, instead of going to the ER, but there was no appointments. And they literally said, those are your symptoms, go to the ER. So I listened. I know a lot of people were mad that I went to the ER, which is so freaking odd to me because if you look if she called I, I i'm not mad about her going to the er if, if she called her doctor there was no appointment and they said okay your symptoms are serious like you need to go to the er and get yourself checked out you know sometimes even if they're not serious they'll, and if it's really bothering you they'll, they'll just say well your only option at this point is to go to the er or to like a you know um what's the other place minute clinic or you know what i mean those kind of places pain, back pain all of those things that's not a like those are not like normal things especially when you're my size you know as soon as i got to the er they did the ekg within two minutes of me being there they said that when you come in with symptoms like that they need to take it seriously and urgently because it's so scary so i do not feel bad for going to the er um i don't want to feel invalidated in that like i was terrified so after the er you know it says follow up with your you know healthcare provider your doctor so i instantly called and made an appointment for tuesday and today's monday i woke up and when i tell you like my breathing was not normal like it just it felt wrong you know, when I breathe in, like, that sharp pain with the weird thumping, that's just for the lack of a better word, I guess, because I don't really know how to explain it to the best of my ability. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> I need to call the doctor, see if she can fit me in for today. If she can't, that's fine. We can continue with tomorrow because I know how busy doctors are. If she can't... Oh, wait. The doctor's calling me. Hold on. Okay, so the doctor did fit me in for today. She said she's going to look at my D-dimer, which when I went to the ER, that's what they should have checked, especially because of the symptoms that um, I had. So she was like, I'm going to look and see um, if they did your D-dimer. If it's normal, then obviously it's not a blood clot. But then if it's a little elevated, then it's something you need to look into. Um, so she said, I'll call you, which she just called me. And because she wanted to look at all my results. She wanted to look at my blood, my x-rays, my EKG. So just keep in mind that when I went to the ER, they said, oh, that's normal. And in my heart, I just... Well, you know, keep in mind, Amber, that the ER only can do so much. So, as I'm saying, you know, that's why it's important to follow up with your providers, your, you know, your PCP. That's why it's important to make sure you follow through and get these things checked because ER can only do so much. And in the past, she hasn't done that. Well, the sleep apnea thing. She never followed through with that. Given, given the fact that she, how big she is, I, I mean, I, I just... It, it just blows my mind. I felt like they were wrong. This has happened before. Uh, when I had gallstones, they said I didn't, even though I did. They said I was too young, so they didn't want to do the ultrasound. But I was like, you guys, something's not right. I ended up being right. I had gallstones. Same with my uterine cancer. I just kept getting diagnosed with a UTI. They said that's nine times out of ten. That's why people bleed in their pee. I don't know. It was just, oh my God. So it's like when I feel like something is wrong, I know that I need to be an advocate for myself. And I just feel... Nine times out of ten, just as a morbidly obese person, we don't get the same healthcare. Even doctor now, um, on, from Six Hundred Pound Life, he's like so honest about it. He's like, people who are bigger get discriminated against, so they don't, you know. So, anyways, I don't want to get into that right now. That's a whole other topic for a different time. So, I have to be an advocate for myself. I'm not saying that these people I've seen are discriminating against me. Doctors are perfect; they're not robots. I love them. I appreciate them. Without them, like, what would we do? Do you know what I'm saying? So, I don't want people to twist my words. It's just like when you know something's wrong, you know something's wrong. My doctor just called. You know, as a big person, I don't feel like well. See, it's a half and half thing i have been discriminated against but not because of my weight because i i've been discriminated against for other reasons like when i was younger when i was a kid when i said that you know i'm having this stuff and i'm having that you know this these weird stomach pains all the time um i feel sick all the time uh this and that, you know, there's so, I mean, my back hurts all the time. I just co got told, I, you know, I was just doing it for attention. And now look where I am. Anyways. Called me after she looked at my stuff and she said they did not do a D-dimer, which I don't know why they wouldn't have because she even said that. She's like, you, you know, show signs of possibly having an A blood clot in your lung. So they should have done that, but they didn't. And something actually was found in my x-ray. And for some reason at the hospital, they didn't tell me. Part of my lung 
God, I just feel like it's never ending. <sighs> I don't know. Part of my lung is collapsed. <gasps> the bottom of Oh my God. I knew it was the lungs. And you know what? I bet you, I bet you that this is the result of sleep, the untreated sleep apnea. Hands down. Hands down. Love it. And it's like, is that what's causing all this? And my doctor said, if your breathing gets worse, then that could be a bad thing. And she said, if it doesn't, then we might be okay. But it's like, why wouldn't the ER tell me? I don't understand that. Like, partially collapsed lung, like a collapsed lung is kind of a scary thing. You just said the bottom of it is collapsed. That's terrifying. And I just don't- what, Wait, what, what, I don't know what they do for- I, I, I've- I don't know what the treatment- I'm gonna have to look into that because I don't know what the treatment is for that. I, I would think that they would, what, do emergency surgery? But wouldn't she need emergency surgery for that? Like, oh my god, this is- What can I say? I, I, honestly, I don't know- do with that information um she's referring me to the ct place so i can get a ct scan so i actually have to call today and make an appointment myself i'm just really like this is so much on top of what i'm already fucking going through already go like what when it rains it pours like i want to believe in like tarot readings and whatever like i was on tiktok scrolling through like a week ago and it said if you find this it's meant for you you're gonna be coming in with lots of good luck good things are gonna happen to you what type of like Obviously not tarot reading, like, ugh, I just feel so scared, and I don't even think I've processed collapsed lung. Like, what do I do with that information? Like, what do I do? I'm genuinely, like, scared, so, um, yeah, I'm going through it. I'm sorry my vlogs are not fun, y'all, I'm sorry. This is real life. Like, so many people keep complaining, your vlogs are so boring, You're, you seem so sad. My job is to fill my life. And I'm sorry, but I'm fucking going through it. So that's what you guys are going to see. And I hope that I can come out of this and just be happy and healthy. Because that's like the only option that I want is happiness and healthy. And I don't know. Like I was very worried because, you know, I've had uterine cancer. And what if, you know, it was lung cancer. Like obviously those thoughts are in my head because of things I've gone through in the past. And I don't know. I'm just really scared, you guys. Just please keep me in your thoughts. And if you pray, pray. Just please, good fucking energy. That's just what I need right now. So, like, I would greatly appreciate it. Like, truly. Holy shit. Like, I was not expecting that. Like, I am so sorry, Amber, that you're going through this. I mean, this is terrible, serious shit. Like... All I can say, Amber, is that these medical scares, I hope they open your eyes to the fact that you need to start taking your health even more seriously. Like, and you need to consider looking into the fact that about your untreated sleep apnea, because I think there's a correlation. I really do. So, all I can say is, please don't send her hate about this. I know in the beginning I was like, you know, I was exasperated or whatever, but I genuinely was not expecting this. Like, I've seen nothing about this video, and um, I tried to stay away from, like, other people's content before I've seen the content, because uh, her content, because I want to come in with a, fr you know, fresh whatever, but, like, I seriously wasn't expecting this. Like, this just is totally, like, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm genuinely shocked. Um, I hope it doesn't become more serious. Um, but if it does, you know, I, I don't want to sound morbid, but I, you know what? 
I don't see her surviving this if she if it does. I'm just gonna say it. I, I've, or, well, I've already said it. I don't see her surviving this. So Amber, you, I hope you pray. I be better pray that this doesn't become more serious. You better start taking all your other health issues seriously, okay? And stop with the bullshit on YouTube. Like there's so many signs that are being in re being thrown at her that she needs to just stop with the bullshit, okay? That with you know it. it this whole persona on YouTube has encompassed her entire life and is affecting her in real life. And, um, this is the result. When you're so concerned with what people, what people, what randos on the internet are thinking about you, what reaction channels are thinking about you, you spent a month and a half, okay, and dur during that time when you were going through this, okay, having these issues, you spent that time complaining about reaction channels. Like, seriously. You were more concerned with that than you were with your health. Don't you think you should have maybe consider, you know, Think about getting your sleep apnea treated, getting your back issues taken care of. Like, there's so many things, Amber, that you have complained about that you have just swept under the rug, whatever. Oh, it's not that bad. I'm just going to, you know, whatever. Wait till it gets bad. Amber, you cannot do that. And now you have a partially collapsed lung. A partially collapsed lung. Like, that is like fucking serious this is like life-threatening shit I, i'm gonna say believe it or not even more life-threatening than her cancer was because this could get bad pretty quick and if it does i like i said i do not see her surviving this i mean how would she get through the surgery i mean they couldn't you know they didn't even want to really they were even leery about performing the the whole total hysterectomy can you imagine them trying to perform a surgery for on her for a collapsed lung like she they say that she can't even have her gallbladder skull stones her gallbladder taken out because of her weight So you fucked around and you, you see amber for years you have fucked around and now you're finding out In, there's a youtube channel called bean bag in a curry okay and i saw this video this compilation that the bean bag in a curry did and i was just you know listen you know watching it okay while i was waiting to get my blood taken and it was of you know, Amberlynn being, you know, like co comparing like how, how Amberlynn, how active Amberlynn was in the early days compared to now. Like this girl was out playing tennis. She was on the elliptical machine. She was able to jump rope. She was going to the gym. She was taking big, you know, she was taking walks and doing other activities. And now like it's come to the fact that like getting out of bed, you know, um, being bed bound because of a, a a glorified bad ankle sprain. Now it's collapsed lung. Like it's the fact is, Amber has been sitting here acting like, oh, things have gotten so much better. I'm living my best life, you guys. Like, I've lost 100 pounds. And, you know, Amber, you're, despite the 100 pound loss, and now you're, you've are you gained the weight back, so I doubt it's even 100 pounds anymore. Like, you're spiraling out of control. Because you're going through something, whatever it is, this personal thing, and you have let it take total control. Ever since she mentioned that, it's been like, she's not eating right, you know, she's not exercising whatsoever. She's not doing anything to help herself. She's just spiraling 
back into her bad habits. She has done all this hard work, okay, to lose that weight. And it takes one bad thing in her life to throw her off course. Like, Amber, despite bad shit that happens in your life, you got to keep on pushing. Look, we don't hear about the Ozempic shots anymore. Is she even on Ozempic anymore? Like, there's just so many things. I have so many questions, you know, I have so many questions. Like, I just, but the, the video of, of Beanbag and a Curry just really shocked me. I just, it shocked me because some of these clips that I saw, I'd never seen before. Like, seeing her on doing a jump rope, like, she was literally jump roping. Like, it, she was doing pretty damn good. Seeing her on this uh, this elliptical machine, like, stunned. Totally stunned. Like, I don't understand why the hell she didn't take that with her when she moved. Like, you know, it's just, I was just stunned. Amber. You brought yourself to this point. Just just keep that in mind. Everything that you're experiencing now is due to your own actions. Now you've gained the you're gaining weight again. Now you have a collapsed lung. Partially collapsed lung. What does that say about your life, Amber? Amber, if you know, you have nothing to show for your life. Your whole, I mean, this whole YouTube career of yours has just been you basically making a mockery out of yourself. And you're doing, I mean, and, and now you're, cl you, and what gets me, I understand she she's came on here to, you know, talk about this experience, whatever. She wants to share this experience. But Amber, you're even monetizing this. Like, I, I don't know. This is why I don't do, you know, vlog saw videos like Amberlynn. This is why I don't do vlogs because, like, I could never, I don't know. I don't think I could ever do it. Just simply because I see Amber, you know, because I, I don't have an exciting life, whatever. And, you know, what the fuck would I film, you know, like, and I see Amber, and I'm just like, oh my god. I could never do that, just because... I could, you know, I could easily, I could easily become another Amber... Well, no, no, no. What am I saying? What am I saying? No. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, this is what happens when you do, when she, you do what Amber does on the internet. And you let it encompass your entire life, but... Thankfully, I cannot relate. Thankfully, I can just click off and not worry about Amberlynn. I am sorry that she's going with, going through what she's going through. But the, like I said, at the same time, I know I'm repeating myself. You brought yourself to this point. I just hope to God that, you know, that, that this isn't, you know, this isn't going to kill you. I hope to God this is like a eye-opening experience. This is like what's going to really open your eyes and be like, Jesus, like, I really need to, like, take a step back. I need to gain some perspective here because Amber, this is do or die. That's all I gotta say. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns with this video or any of the videos I've made so far on this platform, please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you, uh, have any comments, questions, or concerns, you know, you can hit me up on social media or did I already say that? I don't know. Ah, okay. Um, if you want to donate to me and my channel, I have a PayPal. I have a cash app. I would appreciate it, but you're not obligated. I just like to mention that in case anybody is interested in helping me out. So until next time, peace out my ninjas and I will see you guys later.